Have you ever wondered what goes on beyond the gates? What happens in the private lives of the people behind the closed doors and shattered windows? Who they are? What good and evil is in the minds and souls of these shadow figures? The visitor sees behind those windows and doors and gates. Last-minute shopping has become part of our holiday tradition. This is the story of a family and the gifts which came to them on two Christmases and of the year between. It's my daddy, it's my beautiful father, and he's right on time. My granddaddy struck a wrong note. He must be as excited as I am. Yes, Bobby, of course. And you, Mommy? You're excited, too? I, I suppose so, but don't you get too excited, darling. I won't, Mommy. Uh-oh, Mr. Farrell! You okay, Ann? Yeah. You like our stay? No, no, I can handle it myself. Listen, he may try to talk. Please. He'll tell you about some new product and how he's sure to make a million and everything will be fine. Please. He'll talk. But remember, Anne, he's one of those guys who will never have anything fine. I know it. I know what you've told me a million times. You mean anything I want? Well, sure, that's why they invent Christmas, for little girls with big brown eyes. Oh, Daddy, you're so silly. Daddy? Mr. Bentley? Here he is, Mommy. Silly as ever. Hello, Anne. Hi, Jerry. Yeah. Thank you. She looks great. So do you, Daddy. Oh, it's so nice to see you again. <laughs> Come on now, Princess. Get your things on. It takes time to buy out a store. Imagine, Mommy, anything I want. I'll be right back, Daddy. Ma'am? Cigarette, yeah. My brand, they must be pretty stale. I guess so. It's a funny thing. It's still my brand, old or new. You, you're doing all right, Jerry? Oh, yeah. Terrific. There's a fortune to be made in plastics, and we're only starting. Oh, sure, sure. Oh, uh, Jerry, father left instructions down at the store that anything that you buy for a barber, you can charge it to him. Oh, well, thanks. I'll pay cash. Maybe his store, but she's still my daughter. Just as you want. I told you, I'm doing great. Sure, sure. I'm ready, Prince Charming. Well, and what a princess. Sure, Miss Farland, you must have a bit of the Blarney in you. Oh, Faison, I'll be getting it from me, Faison. Ah, <laughs> uh, we'll be back at five. But this time you're staying, aren't you? Uh, well, we'll see. Aren't you staying? Aren't you staying? Funny face. And you better have a pretty face or I won't buy anything in the store. <laughs> Bye, Ann. Bye, Jerry. So long, Mommy. You miss all the fun. Goodbye, darling. Change? No, Father, no change. Well, you see, if he would only... I see that he's a wonderful man and that I still love him. If he could only get a job and could have a home of her own. He'll never stick to anything long enough for that, Anne. Oh, Father, I suppose he won't. It's 
It's getting pretty late, Barbie. You better go in to see Santa before he closes up shop. Oh, Santa never closes up shop, Daddy. You told me that. <laughs> yeah, that's right, but we do, honey. We close up shop at 5, so we better hurry. Come on. No, no, Daddy. Only little kids go in with their parents. Oh, I see. And when did you become big? After you had to go away. Mommy said I'd have to be a big girl and not ask questions. That's right. Okay, big shot, go ahead. Well, I can see you've been a very good little girl. Now, uh, here, here's a little present for you. Goodbye, little lady. Well, little lady, now come up here and sit on my knee. <laughs> now tell me, what do you want from Santa? A favor, Mr. Santa Claus. <laughs> well, I'll try. I'll certainly try. Is it true up in the North Pole where you come from that a day lasts six whole months? <laughs> oh, ain't you a smart one? Well, that's true, all right. And you can do anything. Most anything. If parents are willing, of course. Oh, I'm sure my daddy's willing. Because he loves me just like I love him. Naturally. All fathers love their little girls. Sure. Even when they can't be home much. Even then they love their little girls. Uh, what is it, honey? I want you to make this day last six whole months. You see... I can't be with my daddy very much. And I wanted it to last such a long, long time. Well, I, I'll have to take that under advisement, honey. I, uh, here, uh, have a toy. I don't want a toy. Hey, hey. funny face. Oh. Thank you, Santa. Oh. Thank you, Santa Claus. You're welcome, little lady. All right, darling. It'll be all right. Oh. Don't cry. You always told me, Daddy. If you dream real hard for something, it'll come true. I know, dear. I didn't want to stay in. I dreamed that it would. Is something wrong, Mr. Carroll? <laughs> Nothing serious. You know me? Of course. How come? Well, Mr. Bentley left instructions that we were to watch out for the young lady and you. Oh, I see. And what did he expect might happen? Nothing. But she is his only granddaughter. Yes, and my only daughter. And I can take care of her just fine. May I ask why the young lady's crying? Yes. Yes, tell Mr. Bentley that Barbie Farrell is crying because she loves her father and misses him. Despite all of Mr. Bentley's horses and all of his men. And fire laugh. In triplicate. What is it, Daddy? Oh, it's all right, dear. Where are we going now, Daddy? I don't know. Maybe... Maybe to the North Pole. <laughs> Come on. That's about all that happened, sir. There was very little commotion. No one paid any attention. You sure he said nothing more? No, sir. Only to the little girl at the last about the North Pole. Yes, well, that makes no sense. You're wrong, Father. It makes a great deal of sense. You've never heard Barbie say her prayers. Yes, well, then tell me, why is everyone here worried about the child but her mother? It would take too long to explain. And beside, the wire that he sent said that Barbie was safe. Because he said so? Because he loves her. Well, I'm calling in the police. No. Why not? Your child's kidnapped. You sit there in some kind of a trance or something. Why not? Father, he'll bring Barbie back. He loves her. He'll have to bring her back. Don't you see that this is one of the saddest things in the world? <laughs> Okay, Barbie, just as soon as we can find a restaurant. Hey, there's one. There's one right up ahead. Okay. Well, what'll it be? We'll have uh, two big steaks, french fries, ice cream, uh, cake, 
We got red hots and hamburgers, and we just ran out of ice cream. Gee, I don't know. Uh... Well, when you make up your mind, let me know. What a classy joint, huh? <laughs> Barbie, are you okay? What's wrong? I forgot. I was dreaming. <laughs> Where did you dream you were? Home with Mommy. A nice dream? Sure. All my dreams are nice. Mm. Even the North Pole was nice when I dreamed about it. Yeah, this is really a dump. I'm sorry, Barbie. That's okay, Daddy. I'll close my eyes and maybe I'll dream about that. I mean, the nice way. Uh, wake up, sweetie. Why? Why? I've been thinking. Do you know what we are? Yeah. Crazy dopes. Yeah. We sure are. Both you and I know that the only important time is dreaming. Check? <laughs> All right. So, naturally, Daddy wants you to dream about him. Check? Check. Okay. Now, you can't dream about Daddy when you're with him. Right? So, we'll just... Get you out of this bed, get you home in a hurry, pop you into your nice warm bed at home, and then you can go dreaming away. <laughs> but, but no dreaming about my funny face. Oh, such a silly daddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, such a silly daddy. Come on, let's go. You'll be home in bed and dreaming happily in no time. Darling, go to sleep. Don't go too far away, Daddy. I love you. It's all right, darling. She's all right. Where's Jerry? Where is he, Father? He's downstairs. He wanted to wait to find out. Oh. Wait, then. I want to talk to him this time. It's all right. I know what you mean now. It is a sad thing for him, too. You stay here and look out for Bobby. Okay? Upset, confused, but okay. Good. Thanks for omitting the lecture. Jerry. Yes? It can't be that easy, Jerry. Who says it's easy? Sit down. No, thanks. I'd rather stand. I don't understand you, Jerry. I guess I never will. But I know you meant no harm. Check. But you did do harm. Yeah, I usually do. No more, Jerry. No more. I suppose I could throw you in jail. Yes? A year, Jerry. You're not to see Barbie for a year. Listen, I know how you feel. You don't know how I feel. I don't know how you feel. We only know one thing together. We both love Barbie. She can't live with the kind of hold you have on her. Your dream world has gotten you into a mess doing the same thing to her. I'm a businessman, Jerry. 
My lawyer will get a court order forbidding you to see Barbie for a year. Any judge will sign that. You know that. Yeah. But we don't need that order. You loved her enough to bring her home tonight. And you'll love her enough to give her this year. She needs it. Only you can give it. Call the cops. I'll take the years in jail. Either way. But this way is good for Barbie. I'll fight you hard if you try to pull a fast one. Okay, I know you will. Just the same. I'm sorry. That's the cockeyed part. I know you are. Christmas. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. I know what you mean. Have another cup. No, no, no. Oh, Christmas. Gets closer to Christmas. I find it hard to work. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Got a kid? Yeah. Ah, you know then. A whole year headache. They are made up by the way your kid smiles on Christmas morning. Since you got a kid, maybe I'll see you tomorrow. What? You know, at the Bantley, where they got that big Sunday course. Oh, yeah. Oh, my granddaughter. She got to be there the first day. Practically the first hour. Yeah, mine too. Ah, uh, the way they talk to that corny Sunday clothes. Whoever the bum is, I figure he's a lucky guy. Yeah, maybe the luckiest guy in the world. So maybe I will see you tomorrow. Yeah? Maybe you will. Well, if I don't see you, Merry Christmas! We should reconsider. Ah, oh, it's crazy. They all know me here. For ten dollars. I got a good thing here year after year. It ain't worth it. Look, it's just for the first hour today. You can hide for an hour. And in the costume, I'll look like you. Forget it. Big deal. Everybody wants to be Santa Claus. <laughs> Twenty-five... No, thirty-five dollars. Mister, you are Santa Claus. Where are we going? Well, Bobby, I hope you have a good time with Santa. I will. And I hope he gives you something very nice. Oh, he will. But I can't tell you what it is. It's a secret. It's all right, dear. You go ahead now. What she wants. It's a great secret. Yes. She's so sure that Santa will bring Jerry back. Well, you know, but even I keep looking for him around here. I am, too. So are my men. Now, that's not necessary, Father. He's lived up to everything. So far. But with a good time guy like Jerry, Christmas is the hard time. Not only for Jerry. Well, you stay here. I'll just go check around. Well, Teresa, say goodbye to Santa Claus. Tongue tied. She'll talk about it all year. Then, not a word. Uh, well, that's all we have time for. You, you be good to your grandfather. Hello. I guess you remember me. Sure. Have you been a good girl? Sure. Hey, sure, slang. Do they use slang to North Pole? Sure. Hey, you're a little bigger than last year. Of course. I got a new tooth. Want to see? Yeah. Where are you calling, Santa? <sighs> It's uh, cold. It's kind of draft in North Pole. I know. I was there once. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Farrell. 
Good morning, Mr. Bruce. Uh, where's your little girl? In there with Santa. Why? With, uh, with Santa? Yes. Is there something wrong? Well, I don't know. Maybe Mr. Bentley's instructions have us all jittery. Jittery? Yes, I, I just saw our Santa outside. Maybe I'd better call Mr. Bentley. Here, Barbie. Lots of the girls are like this. That's not what I want. You know that. What do you want, Barbie? I want you to take me with you, Santa. I mean, forever. Why? You know, because Daddy lives where you do. At the North Pole. Dream about it all the time. Do you? More than Mommy or Granddaddy know. All the time. I just close my eyes and dream. Daddy taught me that. Well, I guess you know all that thing is how you're friends. Yeah, I know all that. Take me, Santa. Please, today. Barbie, I have a message from your father. I knew it. But he told me to tell you that that he was wrong, Barbie. That dreams aren't good, and he wants you to stop dreaming. Even, even about him? Yes, Barbie, especially about him. Guess I'll go now. Bye, Barbie. Doesn't he love me anymore? More than ever, darling. I couldn't help hearing the conversation, Santa, about the message from Barbie's father. Oh? It was a good message. Must have been very difficult for him to send it. Well, there's lots of time for thinking at the North Pole. In other places, too. Could you send a message back? Sure. Some Santa, Mommy. He uses slang. I know. Could you tell my husband? Husband? Yes. Could you tell my husband for me that I've been thinking about dreams too? And I, I think they're all right when you're old enough to know how to handle them. Yeah. I guess they take a lot of handling. But they're worth it. It's not easy. I mean, coming back from the North Pole. Tell him it'll be all right. But I'll need it. Where? The only place I can. Halfway. Uh, Barbie. Barbie, I, I have one final message from your father. He said to tell you that he'd be home real soon. Oh, that's wonderful, Santa. Isn't it, Mommy? Yes, sir. It's wonderful. Thank you for a real Merry Christmas, Santa Claus. Thank you, Barbie, and a Merry Christmas to you both. Merry Christmas. So this turned out to be a happy holiday occasion for the visitor. On that second Christmas, the Farrell family got the most wonderful gift in the world, the gift of being together again, of knowing at last that a dream can be a good thing if a whole family dreams together.